I've got another example here of a triplexer. And this is, uh, well, let me open a different file. Let me open this file first because it's got some pictures in it. So in this case, we're doing a triplexer. It happens to be for uh, the GPS bands. And each one of these S parameter blocks is from a EM simulation of a cross coupled uh, comb line filter. And then this S parameter block is from my uh, 3D uh, EM simulation of the manifold that's joining all those together. So we can work on uh, equivalent circuits, or in this case, we're port tuning uh, EM simulation results. So this is example of putting everything on one schematic. And when we go to do the optimization, we'll just uh, tell the optimizer to do something a little bit different. Uh, here, I have uh, pictures of the, the three different filters. And again, each one is, is cross-coupled. They're relatively low order, but uh, this is a useful triplexer. And let's see what that looks like. So right now it's, it's all tuned up. Um, for some reason, there we go. Having some troubles there with the legend. So here's our tuned up tri, uh, triplexer. Uh, of course, obviously these two channels are fairly close together and this third one is, is a ways away. Uh, we can detune these and bring it back to perfect tuning. So I've got, I've got three variables defined here for each channel and we can quickly just detune those by a fair amount, not a whole lot, but and so now if we start our optimizer, now we'll tell it that we're working on a single schematic, and that schematic happens to be called MUX. That you can use any name you like here, it doesn't have to be MUX. And when we hit the optimize button, it'll bring it right back in. And um, now in this case, because we've put everything on one schematic, it's harder to bring yourself back to a, a known starting point. So I've got the same filter set up uh, using the other technique where I've got a top level schematic and then three individual schematics for the three individual channels. And in this case, we can now force each one of these to be uh, doubly terminated again, if we want to. So again, this one is all tuned up. Uh, why don't we just go back and, and force um, these to be doubly terminated. So. We'll start the optimizer, tell it, um, work on band one. And it brings it back. And then we'll tell it to work on band two. And it brings that one back. And then we'll tell it to work on band three. Now the return loss levels aren't perfect here because I've already changed the tap points in the, in the individual filters uh, to work correctly in the muxed, in the, in the triplexed version. But other than that, we're, we're back to a known starting point here. And now we can re-optimize it back to the triplexed condition. And just to make sure we found the best solution, we do it one more time. So that's it. Um, I welcome any feedback or comments you have. 
Uh, but I think we've come up with a fairly simple technique here that will allow the user to do both uh, single filters and any order of uh, multiplexer. There's no fundamental limit here on how many channels you have and there's nothing different that needs to be done uh, here for a diplexer or a triplexer or um, it could be a six or seven uh, channel uh, manifold and I think I'll work on an example that looks like that next. Thanks very much for your time. Bye bye for now.